So it's another cozy vlog from home today. Well, Jörg has to work today, unfortunately. It's it's the weekend and we said we still want to make it a lovely day as much as possible. And it's Sunday morning and I thought I would make a lovely breakfast, a simple breakfast with just toast and a boiled egg. But I'm using all the silver and the beautiful crystal ware that you can see in Downton Abbey. It's amazing. And yeah, we recently got these amazing sterling silver egg cups. So it feels a little bit like Downton Abbey. And other than that, we are using this book. Dinner with Mr. Darcy. It's a beautiful book. It makes a great present. We love it. So I will be making, I think it's called a tart. I will be making that after breakfast and you will make dinner later. And yeah, we, we hope you will enjoy this video. Enjoy your little break. Yes, that's really good. Yeah. It's probably a downsized version of a Downton Abbey breakfast. Yes, it's a small breakfast, but it's in style. Yeah. Yes. Well, it only has toast and jam mm -hmm. and an egg. So I think that's, that's fine. perfect. Yeah. Just what I needed now. It looks nice, though. And I love our new egg cups. Yes. Very nice, yeah. Upgrades the breakfast. Let's move on to the first recipe from dinner with Mr. Darcy. And it's a buttered apple tart. It looks like this. It looks very good. Sounds pretty easy. It's actually from Emma. And I watched Emma just, I think, a couple of days ago, the 2020 version. It gives me so much inspiration when it comes to, to interior. It, it makes me just happy. And yeah, let's make the apple tart. Here you have a close-up and it's called buttered apple tart. Mr. Woodhouse reassures Miss Bates that he is offering her a tart made from fresh apples. Okay, I already peeled and sliced the apples and now I have to cook them in a... little bit of water, not very much, until soft. So... I think that takes about 15 minutes. It's puff pastry day today. This is the first puff pastry I'm using today. We will be using another one for dinner. And now I already greased the pastry case. Now I need to add a little bit of butter, cinnamon, nutmeg, then a bit of sugar and the zest and juice of one orange. So the apple mixture has cooled down and now I can add beaten egg yolks and now this can go into the pastry case and finally 
into the oven for 30 minutes. And while the tart is in the oven, we thought we would share a new addition to our snug. Yeah, which is a table. Yes, it's an antique table. We got it, let me think, the Truffle Collector. That's the website. Yeah. And we bought an antique table. Was it this year or last year? Last year. And that's now our bedside table yes. in the guest bedroom. And we went for this slightly it's, bigger one. Yeah, and it's really nice. It's it's stunning. And you might have seen this one in last week's video. This lovely Staffordshire spill was. I actually got inspired by watching Sense and Sensibility with Emma Thompson and Kate Winslet. And I saw this spill vase and thought it would look so nice in this house. So that's the tart. It looks very nice. And it will have some icing sugar on top. Let's test it, Mr. Darcy. I think I cooked the apples a little bit too long. I'm not sure. But the recipe said they have to be soft. Yeah. No, they're fine. Yeah. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. I honestly think the recipes in this book are very different mm. to what you know nowadays. Yes. Dinner time. Yeah. And this is what we're making. Her pie. We haven't made it before, but I think it looks delicious. And it's quite special because Mrs. Rundle, who used to be, we read about her, she used to be a 19th century book author yeah. focusing on cookery books. And the funny thing is, so this is, back in the day, they didn't, Distinguish between what we what we call leaves and herbs. So you can basically use everything you love. Yeah, simply green pie. Exactly. And this is what we're going to use. We basically just bought stuff we really love. And yeah, this is what you need. It sounds pretty easy. It says 800 grams of green stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So what we will use today is mm -hmm. chaps. Yes. Leek, mm -hmm. parsley, yeah, then spinach, yes, love it, watercress, perfect, and kale, yeah. You also need eggs, single cream, milk, a bit of flour, and of course, salt. And pepper. So what we'll do first is well, blanch, where spinach, watercress, and the kale, mm -hmm. and then I will chop the leeks. Yeah. Chives and the parsley. Okay. And uh, I forgot, how long does it take, like, in, in the oven? 40 minutes, something? 40 minutes, yes. Yeah. You, we forgot something. This is what you need as well. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, puff paste. yes, we bought gluten-free puff paste. Yeah, ready rolled puff paste. Yeah. That's... Chopping all of this is probably the most work. Everything else sounds so easy. Dinner with Mr. Darcy. No, dinner with you. No, that, that's what the book is called. And you are my Mr. Darcy. This smells so good. Yes. It's really good. It's very healthy. Yeah, it is. And the book says, huh, 
And when you've finished with the greens, put them into cold water. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, I'm greasing our casserole. It's really old. Yeah, it's the first we ever bought. <laughs> Can you imagine? So it's 29 years, 30 years old. So many things we have in this household are so old. But while we keep saying, as long as they are working and yeah. not broken... We wouldn't throw them away. No. And if you take care of your things, they last. Yeah, that's so true. That's always the case. Yeah. What does it say now? Beat the eggs, add the milk and cream. Yeah. And we just said, although it doesn't say so in the recipe, that we're going to add a bit of nutmeg because I think that's just nice. It gives a special taste. Two tablespoons of flour. You know, I think, I mean, we would alter the recipe, so I'm not entirely sure. It just says cover the whole thing, like make a top with a puff pastry, correct? But basically, you could have used all of it yeah. and put the greens on top of it. What do you think? You could, yes. But... I think you do that mm -hmm. because of all the, say what's in, say the eggs, the milk, it wouldn't get crusty. Yeah. And the pot pastry would just be soft. Yeah, yeah, I get it what you're saying. Soft. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, what I do now is, because this is gluten free, mm -hmm. yeah, and so it won't, let's say, get like fluffy like the usual puff pastry. Yeah. So what I do is, Mm -hmm. I'll just roll it out with double the size I would need mm -hmm. and then I fold it together yeah. so that you've got a layer of air and then you've got some kind of, and it gets a bit, yeah, fluffy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's That's good. my secret. <laughs> we'll see about that. But yeah, it should work. It Fine. sounds good. So we're going to brush, brush the top with an egg milk mixture and I just noticed, Jörg, what are you doing? LV. Yeah. So we had a bit of puff pastry left. Yeah, and I'm using it. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know, Jörg. Is putting love on top of it. Yeah. It's a great idea. Now I'm making some slashes. Yeah. Because there will be hot air yeah. and, and moisture and it needs to get out. Yeah. Into the oven. For about 30 to 40 minutes. I will set the timer. And while the pie is in the oven, I thought I would share something because a while ago we made a video with German things. We know that Nutella isn't German, it's actually Italian, but it's part of our German culture, you know, isn't it? Yeah. We just, we grew up with it. And we were looking for an alternative because of the use of palm oil in it. And a subscriber from Italy actually suggested something which is called oh my goodness not sure I'm not sure about the pronunciation and thank you so much for recommending this product 
It's so good, it's natural, and it's less sweet, Jack. We love it. Yeah, it's very good. It's so, so good. Yeah. So here's a close-up in case you're interested. And, yeah, looks like this. Looks like Nutella. I think a little bit different, but yeah. very good. And it smells good. Yeah, it's delicious. And if you watched our Cotswolds video, when Jörg and I visited the Procond Fair, I think that that what it was called, we didn't buy anything, but we got a bit of inspiration and we got two new, new antique products from Etsy that we wanted to share. Now this is actually something for flowers, but we have so many apples at the moment that we're using it for fruit. So this is antique. And then this vase that we fell in love with, which looks like this. I'm really hungry. Me too. And I think it says 17 minutes to go. A little bit on the brown side. <laughs> but, yeah, I can clearly see the love. <laughs> it's very hot. I think it's too hot to try. It's, I think I have to wait a couple of minutes. Very fresh and very healthy. It's a healthy dinner. But it is delicious. Yes. I love greens. We both love greens. Your verdict? Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a different pie, isn't it? Yeah. You wouldn't find that in a regular... Like, in an English cookbook, you wouldn't find no. it like that. I don't think so. It's a vegetarian pie. Mm -hmm. Not a vegan one. Vegetarian, so that's good. Yeah. We hope you liked our cosy day at home. It's always nice to use these kind of days to try new recipes, we think. And um, yeah, so we'll see you again next week. And until next time, bye. Bye. See you soon.